Bitch, not only do I have a weighted blanket, I have heat. So stop thinking that I'm gonna be cold at night without your arms wrapped around but me. But also, this is a very, this is a very petty level of gaslighting no. because it's uh -oh. also, it is, it's very petty because it's just like a degree can't place a husband. So you can't have a degree and a husband. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know. I just, it just seems very. I said I don't know. this. I too said many this early of y'all. Too about many this. of these people. Too many of y'all are comfortable swimming. Backstroking, synchronized swimming in pools of mediocrity, and it shows. It's depressing. It's okay, exhausting. mediocrity. Give me a synonym, something bigger. Mediocrity, trash. Okay, all right. I thought you was going. Come on. Subpar. Oh, I do like subpar because I don't really average. use subpar often. Mediocre, kind of like. Yes. We use that. Ordinary, basic. You know what's crazy though? I had. I think I brought this up rudimentary. Early on. Ooh, that <laughs> sorry. There's one. <laughs> Oh, bitch, you rudimentary. Like, that's almost like elementary. Is it like, <sighs> it is. is that the same? It's below. How it. do you spell rudimentary? That's a good question. Ooh. Scream in, how do we spell Scream rudimentary? Scream in, can you look up rudimentary? Because does R -U -D. that mean elementary? What I is the mentry? What is the root meaning of mentry? I think it's rudimentary. Rudiment, rudimentary. Look, rudimentary. Scream in, don't know how to spell that shit. It's R U D I. Oh, yeah. rudimentary. Rudimentary. Involved or limited to basic principles. Oh, oh you limited. did that, bitch. Limited is a very polite way. <laughs> so here's the thing. Limited is a very polite I, I, way I to say I brought this up basic. earlier on in this podcast where I did say what's crazy is as women, I mean, and I have two degrees. <laughs> Let me just tell y'all that right quick. So I have yeah, two bachelor's toot, degrees. Go ahead. Toot your own horn. Yeah, toot, no, toot, beat, listen, I mean, yes. bitch still got student loans, but I'm a student to these goddamn degrees. Everybody degree. got student loans, show. But I have two degrees. And what's crazy is when I went to school, I was bartending at the time. And my dad, he's Jamaican. He did not see bartending as a job or career whatsoever. Um, and <laughs> when I was at that age where I got back into college, I started college at 24, graduated at 27, 28. Mm -hmm. The reason I went to school was, A, because none of these jobs, even working for a temp agency and bartending, nothing would hire you without that sheet of paper. Right. That was one thing. Although I felt like I was highly qualified to do any of the roles, they needed that sheet of paper. Yeah. Secondly, I did feel like having a degree, mm -hmm. having a respectable career would make me more of a wife. And what's crazy is that with those degrees now and seeing the response of all of these super boss entrepreneur women and the conversations now being had, it does lead me to believe that men do not give a fuck about your degrees your career, how much money you bring in. And the, it's it's reiterated through the man who shall remain unnamed on this pod, but also from how I see people often belittle women for their amount of education and what they've accomplished as women and what they make and what they bring in. No, you disagree? I don't think men don't care about that kind of thing. I think you don't? No, I think I think a lot of men care about that. I think a lot of men care about the resume. How mm. else? How else are you? How else are you going to choose a wife as a man if you're not thinking about the resume? They're and thinking about how they cook, clean, and have babies. I don't think that's that that's is completely true because a lot of those women are expecting those men to make a lot of money in order for those women to do those things adequately and in abundance. And most men are not making that kind of money. And the ones that are, let the name let the nameless man, the boogeyman, say, say it. <laughs> the boogeyman, I like. Yeah, that. he they're they're out exploring their options anyway. So. The bottom line for all of these things, and I'm I'm exhausted with this with this Same. topic because I also I'm I also feel like the guys that are talking about this or that say things like this, a degree can't replace a husband. Sir, show me your degree and or your wife. Period. Let me know. And let let me, me know which one of the things. Elsewhere. Take don't that elsewhere. That because we don't want to hear it. I'm also crying at the girl that responded and said, and quoted him and said, that degree ain't going to keep you warm at night. And she said, shit. <laughs> and she got a whole blanket of her degree. You understand? <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. I, I love need to it. do that. I love it. And here's the thing, right? I'm I'm really, it's like. Wait, but look at the response from a man right under. But does that degree keep you satisfied? But look when at I, his picture. Oh, look at his picture. Can we click on his picture? <laughs> he looks oh, like. Oh, we going to. What is this pose? He what is he thinks he's Blanca from Street Fighter. Get oh me off this page. God. Get me off this page. <laughs> but it always way. be those men. It be those men that couldn't they that don't it be the men that be like, no love, I'm good. 
No, I have a boyfriend. No, I'm good. I don't need friends. It'd be the men that be mad that that's the response they get in these streets that they get on Twitter Half and feel them, like... But the ones that respond like that don't have what they... Don't have their shit in order either. That's what I'm saying. I don't... I'm not... I'm not going to jump into this pool of mediocrity with you, sir. You can swim in there all by yourself. Just keep swimming, as Dory says. Just keep swimming. Just keep, just swimming. keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I'm is good. that the right? Is that yes. the right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, yes. You two for two, Bitch, my girl. Bitch, it was Littlefoot last week. It's uh, <laughs> Finding Nemo this week, y'all. Let's go.